and welcome to the Hillbury Theatre. I'm Chris Ellis, a third year actor from Idaho. You may remember me from such Hillbury productions as The Beau Stratagem and The Cider House Rules. For the past two years, I have been given the opportunity to grow as an artist because of you, our generous patrons who understand the value of what theatre adds to our community. As we begin our 49th season, I would like to extend my most sincere gratitude to you who support our theatres with your presence here, your donation dollars, and your word of mouth that help let other people know that great affordable entertainment is alive and well in Midtown Detroit. On behalf of the entire Hillberry Company, I thank you for being an integral part of our family. We hope you enjoy this performance of A Day in Hollywood, A Night in the Ukraine. Hi, my name is Michael Barnes. I am an associate professor here at Wayne State University and I'm directing A Day in Hollywood, A Night in the Ukraine. And I'm Peggy Marshall Munson and I'm working with Michael as the set designer on the show. Grauman's Chinese Theatre is obviously known because it is the center place of Hollywood where people come to put their hands and their feet into the pavement outside of the theatre as kind of a tribute to the work that they've done and it kind of lets you know when you've made it big in Hollywood if you get to put your hands in the cement at Grauman's Chinese Theatre. The set design for A Day in Hollywood is the um, a typical slice of Grauman's Theatre from the interior, um, although you will get aspects of the feeling of the exterior of Grauman's with the hand prints, um, the foo dogs, um, and some of the ornament, ornamental oriental feeling of the theatre itself. Um, but basically what we try to present is a grand um, environment around the, the action. We have these actors who are portraying the ushers of the theater who really kind of idolize the actors from the movies. So these ushers are going through in their normal ushers uniforms, which are really amazingly formal because the movies were a special thing in 1940. And these, these ushers end up in their idolization talking about different stars. An interesting fact in the way the, the show is played is we have something that we call an ankle stage and the ankle stage is where we're really just looking at the bottom half of these stars because they were immortalized by their hands and feet into the, the, the cement we look to the bottom half of them to see what was it that made their feet special. The ankle stage um, is uh, a very tricky part, actually, to the set. Um, a lot goes on on top of a small platform that's raised above the center of the stage. Um, we had to construct um, special, a special armature for the actors to be able to um, maneuver and do a lot of the tricks that they're doing. Um, we also did um, a lot of work together on um, how to make sure the audience is seeing everything we want them to see. Um, the ankle stage is uh, about nine feet above the, the regular stage floor, um, so we needed to work with the audience sight lines and making sure, and so we've incorporated a couple tricks that I will not reveal to you in this video. Our wonderful designer of our program, Alex Goodman, decided to take something that I pushed him on, and we put kind of an identify the star moment in the show. So they, we have pictures in the, the program, and little blurbs to explain why these people were iconic and we hope that you as the audience will take that and then look to see if you can find the people on stage that are making up this show. A Day in Hollywood is a little different uh, well the whole show is a, a, a Day in Hollywood a night in Ukraine is different in the fact that we're doing a mu musical at the Hillbury. Since I've been here over the six years that I've been here we actually have done two musicals. It's been uncommon in the past but the audiences you people watching this video always seem to throw requests in for a musical so we decided to try to include something we wanted to do something that would highlight our actors as good as possible and they've been studying tap dancing with Naira Pullen last semester so it, it was a nice way to extend what happened in the classroom for the actors onto the stage to hopefully let the audience see the benefit of what the classroom does um, I'm Harpo I play Chico um, however, the character names in the show are Carlo and Gino, and uh, instead of, uh, what is Andrew's character? <laughs> Samovar. Samovar. Samovar, but his name is Samovar in the play, but 
normally he would be who? Groucho. <laughs> Groucho, thank you. All I could think of was Zeppo. Um, Groucho Chico Harpo. Groucho Chico Harpo. However, his character name is Samovar. Preparation for this show has really been a challenge for everybody. <laughs> we have been working so hard um, because the show involves so much movement. In the first half, we have a lot of tap dancing. Tap dancing is Dave's favorite thing. Uh huh. <laughs> I would say the differences between a day in the Holly a day in Hollywood and a night in the Ukraine are that in Hollywood, the focus is on singing and dancing and the acting is secondary. Whereas in um, the Ukraine, the acting is primary, whereas the singing and dancing is secondary. And it's really a lot of fun um, to see everybody kind of switching back and forth. You know, for the people who are like really awesome singers, but they're more so new to dance, it's really fun to see them dance and actually start like having fun and getting into it. And it's the same thing uh, for some people with the singing, you know, who are more so dancers. So that's been really exciting. Um, another difference between the first half of the show and the second half is that in Hollywood, it's kind of like an ode to Hollywood stars and greats. Mm -hmm. So you have a lot of fun um, kind of celebrity appearances, like there's a Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers number, and there's lots of old Hollywood songs, and they talk about a lot of different actors and performers from that era. Mm -hmm. And in the second half, uh, in the Ukraine, it's all about the Marx Brothers, and it's kind of a spoof on a Marx Brothers movie. Um, and it's really, really funny. It's almost like the kind of humor that you forget existed at one point um, but it's still so alive um, even now to have that kind of like Groucho Marx humor. Mm -hmm. um, yeah it's actually a Chekhov play uh, the, it's called The Bear it's one of his farces it's based on that and um, it incorporates obviously the Marx Brothers into that story and um, it's just very goofy and seemingly random. <laughs> Even though Act 1 and Act 2 are somewhat separate as far as the first half is your day in Hollywood and the second half is a night in the Ukraine, they're very connected in the spirit that they bring of American like musical theater and cinema. Absolutely. It feels like being in two shows. It, it does. It feels like being in two shows it does. at once. <laughs> Despite the fact that they are connected, um they're not entirely you know separate or random they definitely feel like two different shows and two different qualities so it's really like day and night which is kind of funny. yeah day and night the motion picture made for your delight it is a night in the ukraine the head of hits and you'll remember it the film they said could not be made the studio that brought you grand hotel tried to see oh of course and as well is soon to hit you with a moon Yes, 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 or as they say in Russia,